This is Cambridge IGCSE paper 0580 component 42 February March 2016. Let's continue with question number 5 part A. Mina sells her car for $600. This is a loss of 4% on the price she paid. Calculate the price Mina paid for the car. So as you can see here, they mentioned that the price she sold the car for $600 is actually a 4% loss on the actual price she paid for the car. So in this case, that 96% will stand for $6,000 as in price she sold the car for was a loss of 4%. So 96% will be equivalent to $6,000. So in order to find the price that she paid for the car when she bought it, um, we should calculate the 100% of the price. So in this case, 96% is $6,000. So in order to find 100%, we should first find to be 1%, the worth 1% of the car. So the worth of 1% of the car is 62.5, as you can see here. 62.5. And then it's pretty simple to find. 100% of the 100% value of the car which is equal to 6250 so she bought the car for 6250 and she sold it for 6000 and the difference that the loss she faced was only 4 4 4% question number 5 part b Isha changes some euros into dollars. When the exchange rate is 1 euro equals 1.351 dollars. And obviously she received 6,000 dollars. Calculate how many euro Isha changes. Give your answer correct to the nearest euro. So 1 euro equals 1.351 dollars. And in order to calculate 6,000 dollars, in order to convert $6,000 to euros, you're supposed to divide that $6,000 divided by the, the rate, the, the changing change rate of euro to dollar. So that will be $6,000 divided by 1.351, which is equal to, which is equal to 4,441.155. Seven. But uh, since they said that it should be to the nearest euro, we write it as 4,441. And our final answer will be 4,441. Question number five, part C, the last part. Mina in Asia both invest their $6,000. Mina invests her $6,000 at a rate of 1.5% per year compound interest. Isha invests her $6,000 in a bank that pays single interest. And after 8 years, they both had the same amount. Their investments are worth the same amount. Calculate the rate of simple interest per year that Isha received. So Isha, she, invested, she also invested $6,000. But then she invested on a, a simple interest. So let's see. So before we move on, we should know formula of both compound interest and simple interest. So the formula for compound interest is principal value P, which is the initial value, multiplied by 1 plus rate, the rate she invested uh, money per year, compound interest, over 100, that rate over 100, and to the power time. Time is basically the number of years she has invested. And the, uh, and, the, and, the rate, and the formula for simple interest is principal, which is the initial amount again, into rate, into time. Rate is the rate she, she invests in, in, in the interest, and the time is the number of years over 100. So the difference between compound interest formula and simple interest formula is that uh, when you use the compound interest formula, it gives you the total amount. The amount you invested plus the profit you made. But in simple interest, 
you only uh, when you when you use this formula you only get the profit and that profit is not added to the initial amount so while solving this question you have to keep this in mind so the compound interest formula gives you the total the initial money plus the profit the simple interest only gives you the profit since we have everything to calculate have the initial value we have the rate we have the time and we also have the formula so let's calculate Nina's money after eight years so which will be six thousand as stated the principal value multiply one plus one point five over hundred one point five because one point five is the rate she invested in. and this to the power eight eight years after eight years the the final amount Nina's account will be six thousand seven hundred fifty-eight point nine five six. I recommend you to have this, have this, to have this as many decimal places since this is not the final answer. So, and now we move on to the Nisha side. The money she invested. Now we are supposed to find the rate at which she invested. As they said, like after eight years, the investments are worth the same amount. So, Isha's money, also eight years, would be six thousand seven hundred fifty-eight point nine five six. But as I already stated, that simple interest only gives you the profit; it doesn't add to the initial amount. So now we have to subtract this amount, six thousand seven hundred fifty-eight point nine five six. From no, we have to subtract six thousand from six thousand seven hundred fifty-eight point nine five six. So this will give us the profit, and now the formula is correct. So now we have a uh, P, we have uh, principal amount, we have um, the rate. We don't have the rate. We're supposed to find the rate. We have time divided by hundred equals to the profit, which will be the range forty-eight thousand multiplied by rate equals seventy-five thousand eight hundred and ninety-five point six. The only thing that is remaining is to divide. So R equals seventy-five thousand eight hundred and ninety-five point six divided by forty-eight thousand. And the answer is one point five eight. So Mina invested at a rate of one point five percent. And Isha, she invested uh, the money at a rate of 1.5%. And in the end, they had the same amount. End of question number 5.